Shotgun sizes are given in gauges. Gauge measurement actually came from an old formula. Whoa. Gauge was determined by the number of lead balls of just bore diameter that can be cast from a pound of lead. Today, however, shotgun sizes are measured in bore diameter. The common gauge sizes are 10, 12, 16, 20, 28, and 410. The 410 is not actually a gauge, but a caliber measurement. Like rifles and handguns, shotguns of the same bore can be chambered for different shells. The chamberings refer to the length of shell the chamber is designed for and includes two and a half, two and three quarter, three and three and a half inch lengths. Gauge and chambering are usually engraved on the side of shotgun barrels. Although some shot shells are color coded for a gauge, always be sure to match the proper shot shell size and length with the shotgun gauge and chamber size inscribed on the barrel. Each gauge of shotgun shoots only the shells of the same gauge. 12-gauge shells are only used in 12-gauge shotguns. Never mix ammunition of different gauges. Shells from a smaller gauge can become lodged in the chamber if misloaded into a larger shotgun. This can cause a very serious situation if the shotgun is loaded and fired. The action of shotguns are similar to rifles. The classic shotgun is the brake action, also referred to as the breech or hinge action. Most are double-barreled, but some come with a single barrel. Double-barreled shotguns come in two styles, over and under, or side by side. Their safeties are usually on top, near the breech release, with an easy access of the thumb. There is also usually a selector switch that allows you to choose which barrel fires first. The actions of semi-automatic shotguns is similar to those in rifles. To load, first make sure the safety is on. Place the safety from fire to safe. Place a shell in the receiver and press the action release. The action release is located either on the side or under the side of the action, usually near the trigger guard. Additional shells can now be loaded into the magazine. The main difference between the pump and the semi-automatic is the action of the pump must be manually operated. Pumps are similar to semi-automatics in design. They have tubular magazines and safeties usually near the trigger guard. The action or bolt release on many pumps is typically located near the trigger guard. Remember, to hunt migratory birds, shotguns with magazines must have a three-shot plug inserted in the magazine. This restricts the shotgun's total capacity to three shells. Most shotguns have some sort of choke which determines the spread or pattern of the column of shot after it leaves the barrel. There are varying degrees of choke. Cylinder choke is really no choke at all and produces a very wide pattern. An improved cylinder, for example, constricts the pattern a little more and the modified choke tightens it even more. Chokes such as full choke and super full choke keep the pattern the tightest. Some shotguns have interchangeable barrels in different chokes. And some others have interchangeable choke inserts that screw into the end of the barrel. Shooters can then tailor their choke to the type of shooting they engage in. Owning firearms is a right that Americans cherish. However, it is more than a right, it is a privilege. Responsible firearm owners are the best insurance that this legacy will continue. The 
first step in responsible gun handling is the fundamental knowledge of the operation and features of your firearms. For more information on Hunter Education, call toll-free in Texas, 1-800-792-1112 or dial direct at 512-389-4999. This has been a presentation of the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department.